Hey everybody, um, this is like a little part two bonus video because I actually forgot about it. Um, one of my other little finds, um, it's, a, it's a thing that I've known about for a long time and I've been searching diligently for it and have not found a US retailer for it. Um, so I went to Japan um, and I saw it in the stores. Um, it's like every stationary store has it. And so when I, I came across it, I was like, I'm definitely buying some to try it out. And um, what it is, is white out. It's literally white out. But it's this uh, Miznone um, by Lion. And it's a, just a white correction fluid. And now this stuff, you can hear there's a little ball in there that actually makes sure it's blended. And the stuff is actually a very smooth white out. Um, we'll use it on a part right here. It has, you know, the integrated brush. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to a certain area. There we go. Now, the thing that I love about this, this white out is it doesn't get gloopy. Um, I've used it like once in the past, and then when my bottle dried up, I couldn't use it anymore. But the stuff actually, because of the thinness of uh, the white out, so um, there's like a little spot. Let's take that out. Um, but it, because of how thin it is, you can actually lay it on very thin and it's very, very opaque. Now, because it's like an oil base, like a normal whiteout, um, this is not a waterproof ink, but as you can see, there was no overlapping or bleed like you would get on say like a, um, process white. So let's say like a pro white, which is an aqueous, um, uh, you know, opaque watercolor. So, um, something like that, or like uh, the leader number white number one. That's number two. I have lead proof white, but I haven't. I really had used that too much. Um, I don't know where my deleter number white number one went. Interesting. Um, but the the deleter number. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I own it. <laughs> Um, the, the reason I don't own the number one white is because it's like a, a, a white ink and uh, it's a water base and it, it, if the ink is a water based black ink, it turns gray and that's what you end up getting with the pro white. So if you're using uh, waterproof ink, this works really well with it. But if you're using a sumi ink, which isn't waterproof or it's only semi waterproof, this stuff turns gray. So you have to like lay coat after coat after coat. And if you're using screen tone, then this stuff, uh, it, it doesn't allow you to lay the screen tone on it correctly. Now, here's where things get interesting. So, um, a, a lot of manga supplies in Japan are not like really archival quality, right? So, um, because it's they make it quick and it's it's all about publication, and people aren't really selling their their original prints like we do in the U.S. with comics. So. Um, they don't use like archival quality stuff. So like the pro white is an archival quality. You know, it's not going to yellow over time or, um, the bleed proof white is archival quality, um, and is not going to yellow over time. Uh, this stuff will probably yellow over time. That's my assumption. Um, but you can see here it blends with the paper really, really well. It goes on, um, very smooth. And the nice thing about it is uh, because it is like a whiteout rather than ink, you can draw over it. So when well, you can make your correction and then you can lay black back on top of it without an issue. Um, so those are, those are my little, you know, what I use for white. I have the uh, Miznone. I have two bottles of this stuff. Uh, white correction fluid, which is uh, amazing in my opinion. Uh, the deleter number two, white ink it's a thicker white ink um similar consistency to pro white and then um i have dr ph martin's bleed proof white which um this stuff is also toxic um it contains like zinc sulfate or something like that but um i i, I don't use it too often it, it's similar to the to the deleter number two in the pro white but it the pro white again is is a opaque white, uh, watercolor. It's basically a gouache. So, and then that's what I have here. I have the Win Windsor Newton permanent white uh, gouache. So this is also, again, I just use it with a brush. Um, again, it is because it's a gouache archival won't yellow, but you know, these two 
have a really high chance because they're water-based of, of, of reliquifying your ink, you know, and, and making it bleed and turning a spot gray instead of white. These two have better uh, responses with that, um, but from time to time you may still get a part um, with the ink where it, it starts to gray in the spot. However, this stuff does not get gloopy. It goes on super thin and it's very, very opaque. Um, I would not use like a standard whiteout, like a Bic whiteout, whereas this stuff though, um, just it works wonderfully for corrections. So that's my little pro tip is if you can find this Misnone um, or Misnone uh, white correction fluid anywhere, um, A, like stateside, let me know <laughs> so I can buy it from there. But try, you know, pick it up and, and give it a try because the stuff works really, 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 really well. So that's my little secret pro tip part two of like my Japan arts uh, thing uh, haul that I brought back. So um, now you know, and uh, if you find it, buy it. Take care.